Well, students, uh, today we are going to see on the next topic according to the chapter of electric vehicle minor course. That is in the first chapter of uh, 114 AL01. That is the fourth semester electric vehicle minor course. Okay. <clears throat> in this, in today's uh, video, we'll see about benefits of electric when we uh, think about purchasing electric vehicle, we must think about benefit of electric vehicle, but that comes to the personal only, right? Only one opinion. So uh, that is average. When we think about purchasing electric vehicle, that comes average, how much it costs per kilometer, okay? And the initial investment, that means the cost of the vehicle. But we should think in a different angle also, okay? After all, we are human beings. So we should think in that context also. <clears throat> so uh, before we see the benefits, according to the syllabus of GTU electric vehicle minor course, you must learn about the history of electric vehicle, history of hybrid electric vehicle, and the history of the storage systems like battery, supercapacitor, flywheel, etc. <clears throat> I have prepared some other videos based on this history of uh, various vehicles and the storage systems. You can watch on our YouTube channel. <clears throat> so let us start one by one. As I said, we are human beings. So when we think about electric vehicle, before 100 years, okay, the electric vehicle introduced into the society for transportation system. Later on, because of some politics and because of the need of petroleum and easy to uh, make the system available for the common people, the electric vehicle has been sifted and that comes with IC engine. So mainly when IC engine came into the picture, people were uh, very eager about the speed. People were uh, adopting everything because it's very fast. People uh, started adopting it because it's very easy to refuel. Okay. But slowly, slowly after 100 years, it is noticed by the world developed countries the major issues, global warming. The first one, that is global warming. And because of the global warming, we need to control the carbon emission. We need to control the pollution. So pollution under control is required. And then the word came that is called zero emission vehicle. So the first benefit of electric vehicle that is zero emission vehicle so when we think when people think about electric vehicle and the experts those who are already in the market for vehicle they argue like virtual zero emission okay so zero emission maybe your pollution uh, because of the pollution you will have carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, all these things uh, into the environment. And slowly, slowly, the temperature of our mother earth has increased. You know, every year it is increasing. And that is why we see the ice melting. So to reduce all these things, the government uh, bodies, the global uh, leaders, the developed countries union had decided to adopt electric vehicle so that as a human we can live safely and we can protect our environment so that is the first one now because of these words the thing came that is uh, you know people started talking about how is that possible in electric vehicle to have zero emission because it also needs electricity okay so the generation of electricity is there and generation is not pollution free right so generation of electricity and the using that kind of electricity for running the electric vehicle that is ultimately leading 
the pollution. So that is what uh, people believe. And uh, on statistics data, if you see, it is also there. So two term comes here. First one is well to vehicle and plan to vehicle. So the efficiency limit varies from well to vehicle. So if you uh, take out petroleum from the well, refining, let it transport to the common people and let them refill their vehicle. So well to vehicle is also uh, going in terms of percentage as well as the pollution. The second term comes that is plan to vehicle that is electricity generation house that is power station from to the vehicle so that means electricity is transported from the generation plant to the electric vehicle so two things comes w2b that is well to vehicle and p2v that is plant to vehicle and uh, lots of research has already carried out based on the statistics, surveys and all that. And uh, if you uh, see this data, you will find that the electric vehicles are more efficient compared to the petroleum ICNG. And that is why the, if you incorporate all the efficiencies of the uh, included components, maybe overall plant efficiency, maybe your transmission uh, efficiency that includes you know lots of things and based on that ultimately it goes to the vehicle and when you drive the vehicle per kilometer range so the electric vehicle efficiency has greater impact based on the pollution and that is around 10 to 15 percentage yeah definitely data is available i am not uh, talking to you just randomly it is 10 to 15 percentage higher when we talk about w to v well to vehicle and plan to vehicle efficiency so those who are claiming that the electric vehicle are equal pollutant because the manufacturing of electric vehicle is also going to happen right <clears throat> just a minute so uh, we were talking about you know uh, the efficiency from well to vehicle and plan to vehicle another thing comes that is manufacturing of electric vehicle so manufacturing of electric vehicle also requires you know, some energy and that energy is also electricity and that is also having you know pollution so all these things are there so manufacturing uh, taking out you know uh, different raw materials from different places to uh, the assembly plant and let them uh, gather it and make a vehicle uh, taste it so all these things are happening so based on that some uh, Expert says that electric vehicle manufacturing also not pollution free. Okay. So the idea came and because of that, uh, some rules and regulation has been framed. If, if you want to have carbon footprint and control, then the electric vehicle, the day by day, the need of electric vehicle, the sale of electric vehicle increasing, so accordingly, the electricity generation should transfer from conventional to the non-conventional. That means let it go to the renewable energy resources. And the electricity generation must go to the solar, wind, ocean base, biofuel base. So all the electricity generated through renewable resources, you know, renewable energy resources. And if you are using that, that will make a difference of 20 to 30 percentage efficiency compared to well to vehicle and plant to vehicle in case of petroleum and electric vehicle. So the comparison comes out like this. And hence the plant which are manufacturing the electric vehicle should have electrical supply or they must be you know self dependent generation houses and that is also from renewable resources okay the next one comes and that is a uh, place of usage where you are using your electricity okay so we are uh, talking about the manufacturing and what kind of resources should be used the third thing comes that is uh, 
the electric vehicle usage so if you see uh, the petroleum vehicle the petroleum vehicle highly used in the city area okay and because of the concrete infrastructure because of the lots of petroleum transportation system within the city the pollution increases global warming the temperature of the city rises and because of that that will make overall impact on the mother earth and hence the use of vehicle which is within the city it must be it must be electric vehicle the electricity generated that is outside okay which can be transported with highly efficient transmission lines uh, the power transmission system and it will come to the city and the city area within will have lots of electric vehicle so that will uh, control the temperature of the city area also so that is another benefit that usage of vehicle is within the city where we need to control the temperature now, of course when we go outside from city to city that must be a uh, electric vehicle and if we want uh, even uh, the petroleum based vehicle that is also okay but the efficiency of electric vehicle like buses you know nowadays you you might have seen some buses traveling from andhra to baroda andhra to gandhinagar andhra to rajkot they are having electric buses so all the electric buses which are trans uh, used for transportation for 100 km 200 km that that's going to be the major advantage for pollution control right so the usage of electric vehicle that is another area and uh, if we uh, if it uh, go and uh, think for electric vehicle uh, manufacturing like batteries electric vehicle manufacturing like pcbs and controllers electric vehicle manufacturing by motors and all so in that case also we need to have electricity and as far as possible the renewable resources okay so all this thing comes with uh, the criteria that will help us and electric vehicle will have lots of benefits especially for controlling the benefits uh, i mean uh, the controlling the pollution so the pollution control is the major benefit of electric vehicle okay uh, and then the fourth thing comes that is um, you know uh, the resources available that is petroleum resources available and how many years you will survive with that resources okay so if we take in a data that will last up to 20 30 years only that means today it's 2023 20, plus 30 so that means around 2053 2055 so by the year 2055 we'll have this petroleum that is going to be very costly and uh, that is going to be limited resources available so all the infrastructure which is uh, uh, existing for the transportation on the petroleum infrastructure that will have major impact and electricity transmission lines can be utilized for electric vehicles so this this is the another uh, concept where you can see the benefit of electric vehicle is there that is you are shifting from limited resources to unlimited resources okay and the fourth one that is important thing also coming and, and the statisticians the economists are putting it like this the financial experts also that if you think about the damages because of the global warming like a hurricane is there or some uh, you know um, lots of unfortunate and unpredictable weather is there that is damaging the food that is damaging the infrastructure that is damaging the local property government property also and that damage is very very costly so uh, the government fund which is being used to distribute for those who are affected by the such kind of weather uh, calamities so in that case the cost goes in crores 
lakhs of crores of rupees. And that can be controlled if we control the global warming. And because of that, term sale induced cost. So induced cost, which is because of the petroleum vehicle, because of the global warming, because of the pollution, that can be controlled by the electric vehicle. Okay, so that that is another major benefit for all uh, electric vehicle. But this will happen slowly, slowly. It is not a day job. It is not a month job. It is not even a year job. It will take some time, uh, around 20 to 30 years, to shift our petroleum vehicle to the electric vehicle. And slowly, slowly, we can see the weather will uh, have its impact and it will change and it will be in favor of human being. It will be in favor of animals. It will be in favor of birds and all biodiversity cycle can be stabilized by using electric vehicle. Okay, so these are the benefits of electric vehicle. Keep watching our videos, keep watching our channel, do subscribe and keep yourself up to date for electric vehicle mining course that is GTU based. Thank you very much.